YouTube, welcome back to the Sinker Guy channel. We got a lot of requests about rig boards after I submitted that last uh, video. I'm going to today teach how to build your own rig board for inexpensive, so then you can actually uh, fish for a little bit cheaper, but also have a little pride in building your own rigs and also know that you're, they're going to hold up uh, when a fish, a big fish, does bite. So watch this video, subscribe up top. Give me all comments uh, to help us build a better channel. So we have our rig board already set up so you can kind of see what it looks like to start with. Uh, I have a template over here on my left which uh, we're going to actually use uh, to make our new board. So I started with two by eights um, and we have uh, six dowels and then one long dowel here which is uh, going to be five inches. These dowels are two inches uh, long and we got to have a clip. So. Um, we're going to start uh, by looking at what we need. You need pipe cutters to make it easy. You need a little clip. I, I picked that up at Home Depot. I think it was 67 cents. You need uh, a Sharpie to make your mark. Uh, we have these screw eyes uh, and they're going to be uh, going in here at the end to help you with your line. Uh, and then you're going to obviously need your drill. So up to a half an inch. Uh, what I use uh, for my dowels is this Shark Bites. It's R, uh, it's a 3 8 inch, uh, so you kind of can see it a little bit better. But I got it at uh, low. So we're going to start with our dimensions here. Uh, we're going to, number one, look at uh, uh, centering the, the board itself uh, so we can be the, the easiest. So we're at three and a half inches here, and we're going to just line all of the peg so i have my clip here i have one peg two pegs and my third peg which is my long peg um, so we're going to line those up down the center they're going to be at three and a half inches off the top of the board uh, and then we're going to uh, determine the middle and this is going to be my clip i have that at, i have that so when i put that right there the clip that's at an inch and a quarter but the clip ends up at, at three inches here uh, we're looking for so an inch and a quarter and then we're just going to stretch this out so we're going to be at six six and a half roughly six and a half 18 and a half and 24 and a quarter so very simple so find the find the dimensions here find the center you can draw a line makes it pretty easy we're going to go to these two bottom ones here so we're going to go over at nine and three quarters and then 15 and three or 14 and three quarters. So those are going to be your dimensions. And for this one, and that's going to be inch and three quarters off of the board, edge of the board. So both of those inch and inch and three quarters off the board. Now we have these, and this and this one actually is going to line up in the center of these two. So we're going to go 12 and a quarter and 12 and a quarter uh, for these two pegs. Now I'm just going to mark those. And it's going to be down three quarters of an inch and down two and a quarter. So pretty simple. So uh, you can go back and watch this and get those dimensions. I'm going pretty fast. I understand that, but I don't want to waste your time. So at this point, we've made our board. We know where our spots are. I like using this shark bites because it's a little bit uh, simpler to get your hook off of a uh, but you can use nails here. So with this dimension, you could be done making this deal, screw in the clip, pound a nail, 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 and a longer nail to hold your spool. So you could actually be completely done. Uh, but what I usually do uh, when I'm using this uh, shark bites is I usually just measure these off two inches and then I cut them and at that point, I'm just going to show you how to cut that because it's super simple. Uh, I'm just going to slide this in. These cutters, uh, great invention, whoever invented it. Uh, I'm going to just bury it here. It just clicks, and so there's my two-inch piece. And I'm going to need I'm going to need uh, six of those. Okay, so I'm just going to cut. I will cut six. I'm not going to do that you know, and waste your time. But that's how easy it is to cut that uh, with an $8 tool. So I'm just going to start with the drill and 
Uh, at this point, I'm gonna drill down a half an inch. So I'm gonna have an inch and a half uh, uh, coming up. So it's noisy, doesn't work very good. And I'm just gonna drill every one of those holes now. And so boom, 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 and boom. And I will be set. So now I have all my pegs cut. I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. So now we got our holes all set up. Now we're just gonna use the pegs. Uh, we're just gonna use a hammer to help just put those pegs in there. Super simple. and roll so now all we have to do is we just have to put this uh, clamp down nice and easy you don't want it so tight it doesn't move but you do want it uh, relatively tight and there we are we do want it to move a little bit so now the next thing is we're going to put on our two little highlights and they want to be lined up on this so we're going to just go by uh by sight uh, i'm not going to really measure it so you can go back and look at the dimensions if that uh, interests you but this is going to be from the spool so it gets in hangs up here but i also use them as a measuring so when i go back to look at my measuring board and if you watch my last video you'll see it's going to be at 20 20 inches and 20 and a quarter 21 and a quarter 20 inches and 21 and a quarter so that's a that's a good number remember i used this last one uh for where i put my uh tie my rigs off at so so 20 and 21 and a quarter so i got 20 and 21 and a quarter and if you look i just lined up my tape measure should be perfect there I'm just going to grab the smallest bit just to start a pilot uh, to make it easier for us. So I'm just going to set a little pilot hole here. Doesn't have to go in real far. Now we're just going to hand tighten those. Very, very simple. Didn't have to be all the way in. And when I put my line on here, it's going to go through there first. Through there, through there. And I'm going to just hook there to start with. Let's see how it works. Let's see how it works. <laughs> and tighten it back up and we're ready to tie some rigs. If you have any questions, go ahead and message me. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe up top. And also, uh, next video will be how to set up your surf rod. I look forward to communicating. Uh, feel free to comment. Feel free to like. Have a great night. didn't tell you what I used but this is the one this is the line I really like it's suffix extra limp and loose 30 pound test uh, you can check out that it's only uh, 0.50 millimeters or 0.02 inches 
uh, that that'll give you a little suggestion about uh, what size of line you need. Um, and Miss Ruby wanted to say hi too. Miss Ruby, you want to go? To, you tell him hi. Yeah, wag the tail. Yeah, you know what's going on. Dad's going fishing. We know. <laughs>